piled on me and knocked me out. <laughs> Save yourselves, good folk! Uh -oh. The beast attacks! We better get out there. Someone's casting spells. I think it looks like the Twilight Zone by how you open up that. Oh, shit. Some manly short shorts those guys are wearing. What sort of sorceress are you? A lot of good you did. Can't you hear me? Why didn't you help him? He's alive, isn't he? The beast nearly pulled him in the water while you stood staring like a calf at a shit covered clover. <laughs> Watch your words. Where's this beast? Ask her. Geralt. Ah, I guess we knew each other. Oh, look here! Birds of a feather! Let's say... I've heard of you. Master Witcher, this is foolish! The beast near pulled Sozek into the depths, and you're simply chatting with this damsel! Sozek's alive, and nowhere near the depths. The monster's vanished without a trace. You best take us seriously, lest you vanish without a trace. All right. What happened? I came to Flotsam to kill the Cairn. Cairn? The monster that has effectively blocked the port. A moment ago, I had the good fortune to see it in all its splendor, but the local folk scared it away. Good fortune? You hear that, Sozek? That was some good fortune for you. Why is the beast in the port all of a sudden, eh? Summoned by the witch, perchance? To see it in all its splendor. Sozek doesn't look too good. Lay him inside somewhere. Right, we've dawdled enough already. Come on, lads. Let's go. What's this? I was ready for a rumble there. Shut it, and come on. I apologize for interrupting, but I am Louis Merce, and I am chief person in charge of all matters related to monster hunting in Flotsam. It is in this capacity that I must inquire if you're willing to attempt to resolve the problem of our so-called Cairn, the beast that now blocks all trade traffic on the river. So, Witcher, are we willing? I usually work alone. I was here first, and I'll not relinquish this contract. My way or the highway, as the locals put it. Nice Fine. tattoo. Your way it is. You must contact the merchants on the waterfront as regards any rewards. Madame de Tanserville has, I believe, already conducted some preliminary negotiations. That I have. In that case, don't let me keep you. Triss, how long must I wait for you to introduce us? Sheila de Tanserville, advisor to Queen Zulika of Kovir. Kovir is a long way north. True. I had my doubts if the Cairn was worth the journey, but those were dispelled with what it showed today. Here to hunt down some ingredients? Triss Merigold. Sharp as ever. You're thinking that... Troll eyes, ghoul venom, virgin's blood, all those disgusting marvels we take from dying species. To throw into the cauldron at Sabbaths. Right, Triss? Absolutely. Virgins are a dying breed. <laughs> Oh my, your sense of humor seems to be intact too. But enough of these pleasantries. Damn. Tell me, Geralt, you saw the tentacle. What do you make of it all? The beast must be huge. Maybe inhabited one of the Pontar's tributaries before, hunting animals. Then it grew for some reason, and hunger drove it to seek fresh pastures. And on the Pontar it found trade barges burgeoning with obese, slow-moving merchants. You're partly correct. Cedric claims the Cairn emerged from the northern swamps approximately one month past. I need to look around, find out a few things. Hmm. An investigation. Witcher's rituals, extracting secrets and such. More or less. I'll talk to the merchants about the reward, pay Cedric a visit and get back to you. You'll find me at the inn. I've rented lodgings there. 
on the upper floor. You know the inn's also a horror house. Thanks for the warning. Um, I should talk to Triss, see how she's doing. How's it living with Roach's soldiers? Splendid. I know every shit joke that anyone's ever thought up. Plus, I've learned how to burp out the official title of the Emperor of Nilfgaard without reaching for beer. Shorty's told me about his 16 children, all named after Temerian troop divisions, and I know his nickname has nothing to do with his manhood. Nice to know that you care, though. Glad to see you in a good mood. I think I actually like them. They're good people. One of them even proposed to me. Who's the brave man? <laughs> Sorry, that's a secret. And here I thought Roach's boys had an ounce of respect for me. The massacre in Rivia, it came back to me, I remember. The angry mob murdering non-humans, a young boy with a pitchfork. Anything else? Death, or a state close to it, I'm not sure. I felt life draining out of me. Uh, I was there. I arrived a moment later. Too late. Don't worry, Triss. They're only memories. We have bigger problems to tackle now. Something tells me that in recovering my memory, I'll find out a lot about what we're dealing with now. Wow. Okay. No, working my ass off like a stagecoach. You know, I do like the relationship that that they that they have. I wouldn't call them a couple. I'd uh, be too official. I think they just like having sex with each other and they seem to enjoy each other's company. And seems like whenever, whenever a woman tries to make a pass on him, Flotsam's got a garrison. What do you want? Heard you have a problem. Ah, if only we had just one. Highways washed out, forests full of bandits, a river beast blocks the port, and tolls are to rise. Can't help with the tolls, but the monster's a possibility. The sorceress said the same, but we've yet to see any results. She's asked me to work with her. And who's to pay your wage? That's what I'm here to discuss. The sorceress was to manage a loan. You can split that reward if you wish. Well, we're managing it together now. So as I see it, you should double the reward. <laughs> you jest! You'll double what you offered Lady Detenza, <laughs> because that's what the contract's worth. So be it. Yes. I assume you to be professionals and worth every last copper paid to you. It's a deal. Now tell me what you know about the beast. You're the Witcher, Dad. <laughs> I have no knowledge of these things. Who could tell me more? That plowing elf, Cedric, most probably. He's supposed to know all about monsters. Hi, Foodoo. Now leave me be. Quiet woman. Artist at work. Hey, we still was able to get that full. I stir it. I don't stir. I work the material. Oh, no. I'm not talking to a freak. Wait a minute. Be off! Or I'll call the guards. Cool, asshole. Well, Look, you were a boo down my mini map. That's why I talked to you. I don't think I want anything to do with you. I don't know. Tris seems to be a good girl. Or. I don't know. Ooh. This could be good. How much does it cost? 300. How much cash do I have? Can I buy this? Okay, so I only have some nine. Flotsam's got a garrison. We don't need a witcher. Not a thank you, not a good boy. Rainwater. I feel like 
how you look influences how you think. Now I'm really starting to wonder. I can't say this about something like a dick, so I'm trying to. Trying to what do you want? Uh, I don't know. Anyway, I don't care about the Kraken right now. I'm, I want to work on a troll. Yes. There are so many quests I need to do. I'm gonna be here for quite a while. Welcome, new people. Oh nope, 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 nope. Sword away. There we go. Welcome, new people. How you doing? Oh. At your service. Drunks? Well, well. I had an inkling and it didn't disappoint me. It was a long voyage to this cesspit, but it's about to make sense. Voltest's killer, live and in person. How are you? Happy and healthy? I Can't complain. I am delighted, really. But you see, it's a long way back to Vasima, and I'd rather not dawdle. I lost a load of time looking for you. No reason to waste any more talking, then. Bon voyage. Listen, Jester. You're worth more to me alive. But if need be, I will take you back as a corpse. Oh, shit. You choose. All right. Give it a shot. Drop your sword and put your hands together, or I'll not vouch for what... Shut up. Go ahead. Try to kill me. He's worth a bundle! Don't fuck this up! I meant your attractiveness. Now just say people who don't look as good try harder to communicate. Or to be what you were talking about. Good try, a holes, but it looks like I won this time. It looks like I can murder three people and nobody asked me any questions. Arrest warrant. Shit. Help on her. Oh, at your service. Uh, I don't care. A fine mess you have here. Dwarves stealing bread from the mouths of honest craftsmen. Now who should I ask if I don't information? Oh, oh, about no. the troll. As soon as he dealt with the sky, it be someone who lend me an orange. What? Smarter, I say. Yeah, yeah, I'm just a smart ass. <sighs> Welcome to my. <laughs> and then she says, I oh, know about you. trolls. Oh. Tris, would you know anything about trolls? Come on. What's going on? <sighs> so long, Rich. Go on, a wee bit more. Change your grip. Humans know as much about looks. Okay, I guess, I guess I'll just switch quests since I can't find out. He thought if he could find. There we go. Okay, time to go on. Let's do some missions. Hey, Jackin. Why two swords? Where might you be going? Uh, what kind of question is that? Anyway, know where I can find an elf named Cedric? Don't get involved in this. Wow! <laughs> the merchants are paying good money for killing the beast. Coin is never the most important thing. Maybe, but it's still pretty useful. I don't trust her. Sheila? Why not? She's a powerful sorceress. Dangerous to her foes, even more dangerous to her friends. I know you don't like her. Any specific reason? I'm just trying to warn you. Thanks. 
I guess I'll have to ask her. How? We're going hunting.